Welcome to Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss some important and tricky questions from March 2018, Paper 1, Variant 2. In this lesson, we will discuss some questions about waves and electricity. We will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your understanding of these questions and also you can improve your conceptual understanding of these two topics. Let's study together. Let's improve together. For our question number 21, it is given to us a wave pulse moves along a stretch rope in direction shown. Which diagram shows the variation with time t of the displacement s of the particle p in the rope? For this question, it is given to us, we have a particle in the rope, this particle is here, and wave pulse is coming. And we need to find out how displacement of this particle will change when the pulse passes this particle. So let's try to understand this one step by step. First of all, imagine that when this part of the wave will reach this particle, what will be the displacement? I can write down this point here. So the displacement will be equal to the wave pulse. And we can say this is happening at time t is equal to zero. Now let's say after certain time, at time t1, this part of the wave is passing this particle. So the displacement of this particle are so will be equal to this one. So after time, after some time, so we can say its displacement is this. So this is happening at time t1. And at time t2, we can say this part of the wave will pass this particle. So its displacement will be this one. So we can say this is happening at t2. Now, when this part of the wave will pass this particle, so its displacement will be equal to this. Means it will come to its equilibrium position. So this is the displacement. And when this part of the wave pass through this particle, its displacement will be equal to this one. So we can write down here. So add this one. So you can also write down this is T3 and this is T4. And then when this part, its displacement will be equal to this. And after that, when wave has passed, its displacement will stay same. So it will just stay so we can simply draw after that it will stay same so this is its displacement will stay same because when wave has passed is it will just come back to equilibrium position or rest position so its displacement will not change now simply we need to connect these points means we need to connect these dots so you can see how its displacement is changing with time so simply we can connect these points so this is how its displacement is is changing with time. Now simply we need to match this one with given options. This one is not possible, B is not possible, C is not possible, and D is the possible answer. So you can also connect here. So they have drawn this line here. So this is the answer. So this is how you need to approach this type of problems. And also in this case, you need to understand T4, for example, this is greater than T3, and this is greater than T2, and this is greater than T1, and this is greater than T. So I hope this question is clear to you. If you have any questions or any doubts, you can leave your questions in comments. For question number 28, it is given to us a tube of length capital L is open at both ends. A stationary wave is set up in this tube when the tuning fork vibrating with frequency Fx is held at one end. This this is the lowest frequency of stationary wave that can be formed in this loop. Lowest frequency means that this is the fundamental frequency. And other tube of length 2L is closed at one end. A stationary wave is set up in this tube when a tuning fork vibrating with frequency Fy is held at the open end. This is the lowest frequency of stationary wave that can be formed in this tube. And we need to assume that in this case, end correction for each tube is negligible. And we need to find out which equation is correct. First of all, let's try to draw stationary waves inside this pipe. For this pipe means two ends are open. So at each open end, we will observe antinode. And at the center, there will be node. And at this open end, there also will be antinode. So we can draw the shape of stationary wave inside this pipe. It will look like somewhat like this. So it will look like this. So this is stationary wave inside this tube. We can also draw a stationary wave for this pipe, one end open, one end closed. At closed end, we will observe node and at open end, they will be anti-node. So we can draw the shape of the wave. So in this case, the stationary wave inside this pipe 
it will look like somewhat like this. So this is stationary wave inside these tubes. Now we need to find out the lambda of this one. In this case, the lambda, we can use different color so we can see it in a very clear way. So this part you need to understand. The distance between node and consecutive end node, this distance is equal to lambda pi 4. So this distance, this is also equal to lambda by 4. So in this case, we can say L is equal to L is equal to 2 times lambda by 4 or we can say L is equal to lambda by 2. So we can find the frequency means we can determine Fx now. So the Fx in this case, this will be equal to V over, this will be equal to V over lambda and lambda we can find from here now. So in this case, lambda will be equal to, we can write on here, lambda will be equal to 2 times L. So we can say this is equal to V divided by 2L. So this is Fx. Now we can also find out Fy. If you look at this one now, we have anti node here and we have node here. So the distance between two consecutive, mean node and anti node, that distance is equal to lambda by 4. So it means this distance is equal to lambda by 4. Now from here, we can find out value of lambda. So we can say lambda in this case, this will be equal to 8 times L. So this is lambda Y. So we can also write down this is lambda Y. Now we need to find out Fy. In order to find Fy, we can say this is V divided by lambda Y. Lambda Y in this case is equal to 8 times L. We can say this is equation 1 and this one is second. Now let's try to write down second equation in form of first one. So we can say Fy. This is equal to v over we can take four common so we can say this is 2l now we can rewrite this we can say this is 1 over 4 times v divided by 2l but v divided by 2l this is equal to fx so we can say fy this is equal to fx divided by 4 as simply we can say this is 1 over 4 so we can simplify and we can write down this is fx divided by 4. From here we can say fx this is equal to 4 times of fy. So this is our final relationship between fx and fy. And this is what question was asking us to find out. So the answer for this question is d. So this is how you can approach this type of problem. So you need to understand how to calculate frequency. V is the same because medium is the same and sound we have same type of waves. So let me write on here speed of the wave it depends on medium and it also depends on type of wave so in this case we have sound waves and we have the same medium means air is the medium so the type of wave is the same medium is the same so v is the same so that's the reason we can compare if v is not same then we cannot compare this way i hope this question is clear to you for question number 32 it is given to us the diagram shows a simple circuit we need to find out which statement is correct. If you look at statement A, it is given to us when the switch is closed, EMF of the battery falls. EMF of the battery remains same when the switch is open and when the switch is closed. So this one is wrong. It has to be remain same. If it remains same, then this option can be correct. But this one is incorrect now because it is given to you EMF of the battery falls. If you go to statement B, it is given to us when the switch is closed emf of the battery falls so this one is also incorrect if you look at uh, statement c it is given to us when the switch is closed the potential difference across the battery falls because work is done against the internal resistance of the battery and this statement is correct let's try to understand why this is correct let's say emf of this battery is e so we can write down emf this one will be equal to i times capital r plus i times small r but i times are this is equal to terminal potential difference plus we can say this is i times r this is equal to emf minus i times r if there is no current in the circuit it means that this 
term, this one will be equal to zero. So the EMF is equal to terminal potential difference. But when there is current in the circuit, they will be work done against internal resistance. And when work is done against internal resistance, terminal potential difference, this one will decrease. So that's the reason. But EMF, you need to understand, stays same when the switch is open and when the switch is closed. So the answer for this question is C. If you go to option D, it is given to us when the switch is closed, potential difference across the battery falls. This is right. But it is given to you because work is done against the resistance of capital R. No, because work, this part is strong because terminal potential difference falls when work is done against internal resistance. So this one has to be against internal resistance. And that's the reason D is wrong. So the answer for this question is C. From this question, you need to understand EMF stays same when the switch is open, when the switch is closed. So this is the takeaway you need from this question.